So let's go ahead and get going. And um, for those of you who are here for the first time, and it looks like there are quite a few of you who are, uh, welcome, and I'm glad you're here. I'm always glad that uh, people take time out to be with us. And if you've been with me in the past, welcome back. Uh, let me ask you this poll. I, uh, by the way, if you are joining me for the first time, you know that I do like to uh, get people interacting and uh, letting me know what's going on. So um, the question that's up there right now is uh, two questions actually are up there right now. Uh, number one is how is your business doing during this downturn? And number two is when do you think things will improve? Uh, so once again, if you moved away from your computer, come on back, activate uh, the uh, webinar screen, and let me know uh, your answers to this poll. Uh, Two-part two poll. Uh, how is your business doing during the downturn? And then when do you think things will improve? So we're not even at halfway yet. Let's, uh, let's get more people participating, and uh, then I'll share the results because uh, I think it's important that people understand perspective. Uh, there are certainly, uh, you know, people do have different perspectives on how things are going. So uh, I'll give you five more seconds to uh, give me your answer, and then I'll show you how, what people said during uh, this poll. And uh, these are the results. Uh, most people are saying, you know, sales are down, and a few, about actually a third, said sales are about the same. And most people, uh, the majority anyway, said in two to three months, things uh, should improve. And some think, yeah, it'll be the end of the year before things are back to normal. Uh, so thank you for your, uh, your input on that. And uh, then we'll, we'll go ahead and wait on a few more polls. Uh, so this is uh, the next in this series of online events that I'm doing to uh, help people uh, figure out what to do during this very tricky situation. Uh, if you're here for the first time, you may or may not know that I'm doing these events seven days a week through uh, the end of April, and then we'll see what happens after that. But also every Thursday at two o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time, 11 Pacific, and of course make adjustments for wherever you are on planet Earth. Uh, my goal is to bring people together to help us all work together to come out of this thing. It's difficult, you know, it's rare that you run into people who say, you know, I'm really not affected by this, things are running as normal. So I hope you'll join me every day. I do have an ask, and I have not done this before. Uh, my ask is that you share my emails and share my social media posts and share the replays uh, with people you know. So many people are struggling. And even if they're not, these kinds of webinars that are only 30 minutes long will help the, everybody figure out how to navigate a very difficult situation. Okay, so that's my ask. And I would appreciate it if you do share the emails that you get, the invites to these events, uh, the thank yous for attending, which I tried to uh, get out uh, within a couple of hours of an event uh, uh, concluding. And also, when you go to our website, take that URL and copy and paste the URL and send it out to people you know uh, and invite them to attend these events. At the very least, invite them to watch the replays or give them access to it. Thank you in advance. Okay, this is Conquer the Chaos. And uh, I encourage you to add questions during the course of the event. I will answer them at the end. Um, and I am live, you, as you can see here. Uh, use the Q&A box to uh, ask your questions and put your comments in. And use the chat box to let me know where you're joining me from today, if you haven't already done that. Here's what I'm going to teach you in the next 20 minutes. It's five steps to close more business, even in this environment. And this is just a 20 minute version of a 90 minute workshop. So I hope you'll check out our events page on our website and sign up for all of our events, short and long. So why are you here today? The odds are pretty good that you wanna save your business. So let me know the struggles that you're having with marketing or operations. Go ahead and ask questions, okay? 
Okay, this is Conquer the Chaos. Are you ready? Raise your hand if you're ready. Go ahead and use that control panel. Raise your hand if you're ready to learn how to control the chaos. Good, it looks like we got everybody. All right, so here's a question for you. How many entrepreneurs do you know? Uh, think about that. You may have friends, you may have siblings, you may have cousins, you may have parents. Anybody want to guess how many small businesses are born every year in the U.S. alone? Not to mention outside the U.S. It's about 600,000 businesses are born every year, according to the U.S. Small Business Administration. And we are truly living through an entrepreneurial revolution, not only uh, in the U.S., of course, but everywhere in the world. But revolutions don't start on their own. All around the globe, there's a burgeoning environmental revolution. And it's primarily because of three things. Number one, corporate distrust. Number two, the internet has made it possible for a lot of people to get into business. Then there's this thing called the overnight success story. Things, you know, businesses that seemingly came out of nowhere and are an overnight success. Zoom, where you're watching this webinar, if you're joining me live, that's one of these overnight successes, or so we think. And yet, it's not an overnight success. They've been around for a while. But then there's also this, the pandemic. And that is causing a lot of change. It's causing people to rethink where they might find their next paycheck. Maybe it's right in their backyard. Maybe it's this new business they're just developing. There have been corporate horror stories that have dominated the headlines forever. Fraud and people letting, uh, being let go before retirement. Right now, get people getting furloughed and have no paycheck. And all in all, it seems like they're working harder for less security. I can tell you I spent 25 years in corporate America. I've been a witness to a lot of these things, and it's not fun. But the internet came along. And now if we think about how information is readily accessible, you can research new business ideas, test demand through online surveys and email, study competitive websites and find gaps in a business that you can fill for a profit. And as a small business on the internet, you can look big. It's really not that hard. And you have a global marketplace. But then let's think about two of these Overnight success stories. We see story after story of entrepreneurs who go from the garage to the penthouse almost instantaneously, or so it seems that way, right? And they get all these benefits. We hear about people who are now these legends in business, and we perceive that they've got time and money and control and purpose. But the reality is we don't see the chaos. The chaos is this monumental struggle to build a successful business. And now we have this going on as well. I know this is a sign that we have seen around the world. Businesses that have had to temporarily and in some cases permanently close because of the coronavirus. So what causes all of this chaos? Well, as a small business owner, you wear multiple hats. You tend not to have a central focus because you have so many things going on. You're really not sure how to grow. You may be drowning in technology. And this external environment, things like coronavirus that have an impact in so many different ways. My name's Ken Countess. I'm Managing Director of the Countess Group. I'm a 40-year marketing veteran. And for the last 19 years, I've been helping businesses of all sizes grow, primarily with digital marketing. And before that, I was a senior executive at three Fortune 100 companies. And they were Marriott, Motorola, and CVS Caremark. We're in our 20th year as the Countess Group. We help businesses like yours gain an unfair advantage over your competition. During my 40 years, I've worked with businesses and entrepreneurs to help them with targeted marketing, with communications and PR, 
with lead generation, closing more business. It's not as easy as you might think, and that's why I'm here to help. So as a small business owner, you have more than one job to do. You probably have 10 or 15 different roles. In addition to selling and marketing your products and services, you have to manage employees. You have to handle the overhead. You have to budget expenses. And that leaves you very little time. You're generally pulled in lots of different directions. And what happens at a time like now? If you're down an employee and it's a critical moment, how do you keep the doors open? Guess what? You wind up having to do it yourself. So when you don't have central focus, you'll hear people say, well, I'll just take it a day at a time. Well, taking things a day at a time just simply doesn't work. For every task you finish, there are three more lined up right behind it. And all of your hard work and endurance doesn't get you out of the chaos. You only have so much energy, am I right? And the chaos itself typically generates even more chaos, and that can be overwhelming. So once you understand what the chaos is and what's causing it, you can focus on how to conquer it, and that's what we'll talk about. If you're not sure how to grow, or perhaps you're growing, maybe it's not the right way. It tends to be a daily fight. Finding new customers tends to be a challenge. You have to continually pound the pavement and pay the bills at the same time. And then there's thing, this thing called technology. We love it. But there can be technology overload, and that can be chaotic in, in and of itself. Who here is overloaded with emails and data? And then we've got to keep up with our social media. And then what else do we have? Too many solutions. We've got so many different things to look at. We're building out Excel spreadsheets. We're checking our Gmail and our Outlook mail, and we're trying to get everything done on social media. Oh, and then we have leads come in. How do we keep up with those leads? And then how do we close more business. And then, oh, by the way, how do you deliver on your products and services? It's tough, isn't it? So one of the things that I'm going to encourage you to do is start to eliminate the chaos by getting more value out of lead nurturing. What I mean by that is we tend to get lots of leads, right? I've got a stack of business cards over on the side, which I have already entered into my CRM, my customer relationship management software. The thing is that when you get these leads, no matter how they come in, you've got to nurture the leads. Because a lead that comes in that you haven't touched in a couple of days, you might as well consider that a dead lead because leads get cold very, very quickly. If you've had a lead go cold, raise your hand, use the control panel. Go ahead, you can find that control panel again. If you don't see it, move your mouse and you'll see the control panel show up at the bottom of the screen. There we go. Yeah, so we do have a lot of people that have found that their leads are going cold. And yet nurtured leads make 47% larger purchases than those who buy immediately. So if you are lucky enough to have a lead that buys from you right away, that's awesome. But for many businesses, a lead has to be nurtured. And when they do and they make that first purchase, if you continue to nurture them, if you've delivered a great product or service, they will make larger purchases from you as well. They won't go anywhere else. You can start to eliminate chaos by getting more value out of lead nurturing. Uh, here's a study from Forrester that found that uh, lead nurturing generates 50% more sales ready leads. What that means is that for the people or businesses that start to nurture the leads, they generally become sales ready that much more quickly. And you wind up selling to them at a third lower cost. So they buy more and it costs you less. What a great way to do business. I'm going to share with you five ways 
to nurture leads and get value out of those leads. Number one is when the leads come in, segment your list. Then create offers that convert. Don't try to have one product for all people. Everybody's different. There are, there are other classes I teach that will show you how to segment your product offering. One way to think about it is have a good, better, best portfolio. When they buy from you and you deliver that product or service, absolutely wow them. That will keep them coming back. But more than that, you can then ask them for a referral. If you have wowed someone with your service, they're much more likely to provide you with a referral. And what's the best type of advertising? It's word of mouth referrals. Step five is get started. So it's really four steps and the fifth one is, hey, just get things going. So how do you do all this? You segment your list. Segmenting means, and I'll show you a, a specific example here in just a few minutes. When you segment the list and you target your marketing to those segments, that increases the response rate by almost tenfold. And then talk to people as individuals. Don't be a one size fits all. Don't, unless you don't have anybody's names, don't have your messaging say, dear friend, have it say, dear Angelo, dear Anik, dear Dana, dear Terrence, you get the idea. Personalize it and they will respond. The sweetest thing a person can ever hear is their name. Now, how do you segment? You, there are four different ways that you can segment. That They are based on demographics. Demographics may be age, may be gender. Think about psychographics. You know, what are their buying habits? You can figure those out or you can even ask them. When I say engagement is another way, that means that the people who are routinely clicking on your content, sharing your content, those are people who are highly engaged. And then think about their purchase behavior. So when you think about creating a buyer persona, let's use Frank. We'll call him Frustrated Frank. Frustrated Frank is a 40-year-old accountant who lives in California. He purchased a product in the last six months, but hasn't bought anything since. So what do we do? We outline what Frank looks like, and here's how we do it. If you take a look at this slide, what you'll see is we know something about Frank. He's between 40 and 50 years old. He's a male. He lives in zip code 85044, somewhere on the West Coast. We know from his buying habits and because we've asked him or maybe perhaps we met him at an event, we know where he shops, we know what he likes to buy, we know he likes high-end stuff. We know that he's got a side hustle and that he reads periodicals online or in person or you know, in print uh, about time management and side hustle emails. So we know quite a bit about Frank. So we can easily target our messaging to people like him. And this is the way you set up your targeting. Here's something else that we do know. It is that 70% of leads you qualify are not ready to buy when they first interact with your business. You need to nurture the lead. And here's something else, nearly 80% of marketing leads never convert to a sale, but often it's due to a lack of lead nurturing. So what do you do? One of the things you could do is create offers that convert. So after you segment your list and after you best identify your product portfolio, identify the gaps and then create offers to fill those gaps and then send offers for those products, the ones you have and the ones you're developing at the right time based on what you know about your leads. So for instance, you may have a low dollar uh, item like an ebook. Let's say the ebook is called Develop Your Exit Strategy. Uh, maybe you have something that's a low dollar item uh, with a promo code. 
and maybe the promo code is welcome. And you could target your messaging to each of the different personas. So when you are looking at filling product and service gaps, you might offer, for instance, on the very, very low tier, a reduced service level. You might offer a basic and a premium version of your product and service. So maybe your product right now is kind of a middle of the road. You can offer a lower priced, lower service product, and then a higher priced, high touch type product. And then you can pair related products and services. The next thing I encourage you to do is to send the right offer at the right time. So review your list segments to identify common offers that convert sales leads to customers. Choose an offer that works well and take a look at the emails you sent that resulted in that conversion. And then see if there's room for improvement and if a similar approach can work with one of your other buyer personas and then test out that process. Now, once you've started to make some sales, deliver and wow that customer. So how do you maximize the value of each lead? And win them over. And once you win them over, give them a reason to come on back and get a referral from them. Offer additional value. Provide them with valuable information. Give them another service, maybe, at no charge. Be sure you promptly answer emails and texts and social media questions. And demonstrate authenticity, too. Add a personal note to each transaction. Maybe you can send flowers. Always respond promptly to complaints and always say thank you. Step four, important, important, ask for referrals. Did you know that nearly 90% of people say they would refer someone, but only 10% of people are ever asked? Holy smokes, what a missed opportunity. So create a referral program and set expectations that you value referrals. Offer refer a friend incentives. Survey your people after you deliver your product or service and find out what they thought and send custom responses after they answer your survey and ask for referrals the right way and make that referral process easy. What do I mean by asking for referrals? Set an expectation that says, hey, I hope to earn your positive referral or I'll follow up with you after you receive your product or service. You can offer incentives for referrals as well. You can survey your customers to see what they thought. And based on a variety of different methods, you can score the responses. And you know this will give you a sense of what you might do. For someone who gives you a nine or a 10, send a thank you note, ask for a referral. If you provided good service, not great, add the client to an automated email series to make them feel loved. And if they gave you a zero to six, call them. And find out how you can improve the service. So ask for referrals the right way. Make sure that you stay in touch with them. These people are valuable to your business. So make the referral process easy. You can have them submit a referral through a web form or a link on social media or copy and paste a message that they can send to a friend. And step five is get started. Segment your list, create offers that convert, deliver and wow your customer. Ask for referrals and get started. So here's how you might get started. Welcome to Keep. Keep is an all-in-one CRM, sales and marketing automation software designed for growing businesses. We'll show you how Keep organizes all your info, helps you always follow up, close more leads, automate your daily work, gets you paid, and allows you to impress your clients. Seriously, all that in one platform. Say you need to quickly connect with a client, but you're struggling to find their contact information. With Keep, all of your client info is at your fingertips in one place, synced with your apps and email inbox so you never miss an opportunity to get a lead. Keep makes it easy to take the right next action for every lead. 
Your team and work is growing, and important things start falling through the cracks, leading to lost business. Stop missing details and close more leads with our scalable sales process. You can track leads all in one place with our powerful Keep Pipeline. Customize the stages of your sales cycle to correspond with the way you do business and move leads along the visual dashboard. Let's say you want to easily send emails and create tasks once a lead is moved from one stage to another. You can do that with pipeline automation. You're trying to set up a meeting with a client and going through the pain of email to find a time that works for everyone involved. Set your schedule in Keep. Your clients can simply see when you're free and easily book and accept appointments with you. You are manually sending the same emails over and over again. Using our powerful campaign builder to automatically capture and email new leads, assign tasks, and send emails that nurture leads into paying clients. Create any kind of automation you want to fit your process and needs, making Keep the most powerful tool on the market for CRM. Say you want to automate a consultation request with leads. With Campaign Builder, you can set up sequences to trigger events, such as when a lead clicks on an email link. Your time is valuable. Let Keep do the hard work and help you grow your business. Keep is here to make you and your business efficient, productive, and successful. So in short, Keep is automated software that enables you to conquer the chaos. That's what this is all about. Hey, another quick poll for you. Make sure you answer the question that I just put out in front of you. How would you rate this short webinar so far? While you're answering, I'll let you know that we are KEEP certified partners. Uh, what does that mean? It means that I can offer you that software at a super amazing price. You can get KEEP Pro SE, which has all the features that I had uh, talked about so far and that you saw in the video. And it's just $99 a month. You can cancel at any time. That price is not available any place else on the web. No place else on the web. So you can save $150 a month. It would normally cost you $249 a month to use this. Uh, if you'd like, you can sign up for a free trial. But I encourage you to go for the gold. I'm going to go into Q&A now. Uh, if you're not sure where the Q&A bot button is, uh, go ahead and move your mouse down to the bottom of the screen. Whether you're on a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, a smartphone, move your mouse to the bottom of the screen or touch with your finger, and that will reveal the Q&A and chat boxes. My name's Ken Countess. I'm Managing Director of the Countess Group. We help businesses like yours gain an unfair advantage over your competition. We are a full-service marketing consultancy. Why would you hire us? It's because we're a team of over 30 people with over 40 years of experience. We can coach you or we could do it for you. So before we run into Q&A, I want to make sure that you take the time to absorb and practice what you've seen today. And we'll get through this difficult environment by working together. So let's go to Q&A. And while you're uh, entering your questions in the Q&A box, um, <clears throat> Let me uh, invite you to go to our website. It's thecountessgroup.com, and there you'll find replays and events and marketing tools and the keep offer that, you, uh, that I just talked about. That's on that second tab on our website. It does say keep SE special offer. So make sure you go to our website. Uh, there's a scrolling, you know, different pages that you might get to when you get to thecountessgroup.com. So um, make sure you go ahead and check it out. And if you do anything at all online, and I know you do because you're here, uh, you can connect with us just about anywhere you want online. Uh, the the uh, tag is a little bit different depending on where you are. On Facebook, it's the Countess Group. On YouTube, it's Countess Group. On LinkedIn, it's my name, Ken Countess. On Instagram, it's Ken Countess Marketing, and so on. But do connect with me. And once again, my ask, and I'm really serious about this, I would love for you to share this information with people you know and love, or even just people you know and like. 
here's the thing, you know, we all have a need here to help others as well as ourselves, of course, but I'm really focused on helping others navigate through this difficult time. So please, when you get the email from me, thanking you for attending this event, share it with people you know. And when you see posts on social media, share those posts. And if you go to our YouTube channel, share the YouTube video. Put your comments in down below. We'd love to have you rave about our uh, activities and share that with the people you know. I encourage you to join me for another webinar. Uh, sign up at thecountessgroup.com slash upcoming events or uh, go to just find that tab on our website. It's labeled seminars and webinars. Bye for now. Thank you.